here we are seeing the uh, uterus with urinary bladder anterior to it, that of a female married one and a half year, had one DNC because of uh, missed abortion, and now she is again uh, had, having concept. She is pregnant, and uh, no decision is being taken as to what is the issue. Should it be? I mean, because what we are seeing is, see, this is the uterus. This is the uterus. And in the lower segment, this <coughs> rounded cystic area with an ecogenic island within it, fixed with its anterior wall, is suggestive of uh, a gestational sac with the fetal pole, and uh, that is measurable, fetal pole measures approximately 1.5 centimeter and uh, rest, this is the anterior myometrium, this is the urinary bladder and the guest, this sac, if it is a sac, it measures 2.1 centimeter by 1.5, sorry 2.1 centimeter by 2.1 centimeter with a ecogenic, <coughs> sorry, with an ecogenic uh, area linear ecogenic area in this view and uh, what is it, what it is that is decision is pending now when she was uh, there is a cyst seen in the region of the right adenexa this is an ovarian cyst no septa seen my is 5.1 into approximately 4 centimeter is internally clear of any septa, debris, calcification and or any solid element and is seen in the region of the right and in excess of this is an ovarian cyst, right ovarian cyst. So our area of study anyways is relating to uh, this uh, a particular area as to what it is. Now if this is a fetal pole we really do not see any uh, cardiac activity in this uh, fetal pole. If it is a fetal pole, then I have not been provided with her beta ICG level. And the, the position of uh, this uh, area is very di different, you see. it's. Uh, is not central where the normal pregnancy it should have been. You see, this is the endometrial canal. This linear structure elevated by the cystic area is the endometrial canal. This linear structure, and here it is at this region, it is being elevated by the endometrial canal by this cystic area with an ecogenic area with a net. Now you can see how much vascular is the area. Uh, there is... Uh, now this is uh, in fact suggestive of the fact that the initial pregnancy was uh, uh, a mother pregnancy and during uh, dilatation and curatide DNC some of the piece has been uh, inserted within the posterior myometrium. The next pregnancy is again showing uh, the same and this vascularity, this much vascularity in the uh, posterior myometrium and then surrounding this uh, cystic area with no vascularity within this ecogenic area uh, is suggestive of the fact that this is a uh, in fact, again, a mother pregnancy with uh, infection of uh, insertion of the I wish I can show you. I 
in a magnified view the area that I am. This is the ecogenic linear area with no uh, evidence of uh, any cardiac flicker. Sparing this area, rest of the uterus is uh, not showing that much of vascularity as uh, seen in the posterior segment where the sac is. This is the anterior myometrium and see the vascularity in the anterior myometrium. Now this is the whole of the uterus with the uh, longitudinal section. venous and arterial flow is seen within this cystic area. So this is a, again a case of mother pregnancy but with uh, the, uh, and with the, the uh, insertion of the uh, present delta 2 in the previous pregnancy within the posterior myometrium and uh, the pregnancy is not viable. She was not given any uh, chemotherapeutic agent like methotrexate in the, and or any advice for conception was not provide, uh, given to her. So this is our case of the day. Thank you very much. if I may of the waveform is 53 centimeter per second so there is evidence this is an evidence that there is some arteriovenous fistula form which is not unusual in cases with uh, more pregnancies of such nature thank you very